What's good, everybody? Welcome to the launch of Know This. I am your host, Ariana, and I am extremely excited to be introducing this show to you. So I don't know about y'all, but I've personally been a little less than enthused with the majority of what's on television, especially when it comes to finding positive images and just inspiring content. Well, this is going to be the place where style and entertainment meets substance. I'm personally ready for something smarter and something that's cool and relevant to me as a young adult in the 21st century trying to make my dreams come true. And I have a feeling a lot of y'all can relate with me on that. Now, I have a phrase that knowledge of self is sexy. And you're going to meet a lot of people on this show that give that phrase meaning. You know, sexy isn't always about looking good. It's also about doing good and having a personal mission. And I know that we get bombarded with a lot of media messages out there. But very few, I think, that really have us feeling empowered or inspired to go after our dreams. Plenty to distract us from our dreams, sure. But I think it's about time we change that up a bit. And so we're going to have a segment here that's called Know Yourself. That's going to be all about tapping into getting to know ourselves better, understanding why we believe what we believe. Because I believe when you really know yourself, that's when you're feeling most empowered and most excited and most confident to just go after your dreams. You're going to get to see more of what I mean with today's guest, Ruby Veridiano. She's a writer, speaker, and media personality with a mission to empower young women through writing. So why just settle for the same old, same old conversation, the same magazine headlines, the same news content looped over and over again? You know, here we're going to try and bring you some fresh perspectives. I'm not saying we can cover everything, but we're going to be doing our best to bring you some of the new stuff and maybe some of the lesser known things as well. And that's all going to be in a segment called Know Your World. We're also going to be bringing in guest commentators with that one, so it'll be some fun, lively conversation. Of course, we want to hear from you, so please let us know the people, places, things you think we should know about. And you can leave that in the comments at www.knowthis.tv. So that's the deal. And stick around, because we have the interview with Ruby coming right up. So I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back, and I am excited to introduce the inaugural guest of Know This writer, speaker, media personality, and self-proclaimed glamour baby, Ms. Ruby Veridiano. Hi. So, hi. Thanks for coming. Oh my god, thank you for having me. Yes. So let's dive right in because people might be wondering what this whole glamour baby business okay. is about. So what is a glamour baby, first of all? Well, a glamour baby is uh, a young woman or man mm -hmm. um, who is revolutionizing the idea of glamour, okay. right? Because I think that in our society, glamour can be very fleeting, mm -hmm. um, you know, not substantial. And I really wanted to use that word and turn it around, okay. you know, and make it be about um, something more lasting and more meaningful. So I wanted it to be, um, you know, the, I wanted glamour babies. Uh, to be people who um, symbolize strength, passion, and social change. You had a pretty cool event, a somewhat unexpected event last year, where you entered into the contest to be Alicia Keys' head blogger mm -hmm. for her new blog. Yes. And you got flown to London, went to the Black Ball, got to see her in concert, all that behind the scenes stuff. And I'm sure you get asked a lot about you know, what it was like to meet Alicia Keys. But what I want to know is what it felt like to be one out of 8,500 to be chosen for that opportunity and kind of yeah. have that I come mean, true. It was so crazy. Mm -hmm. um, it was really crazy and I felt just so blessed because um, you know, I came so close to living um, you know, a vision that I thought I wanted, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it was really exciting because at the time that I found out about the, the Alicia Keys competition, mm -hmm. it was at the time that I was really having a hard time because as anyone who moves to New York, I mean, everyone knows how hard it is. And you were, I would say, a crowd favorite in terms of so. people really following you and thinking that you kind of had it in the bag, and then they gave it to somebody else. Yeah. And how, was, how were those initial days afterwards when you had that news? You were pouring so much into it. I yeah, remember. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the competition lasted like about three months. Mm -hmm. So every single day pouring my heart out, I mean, mm -hmm. it was really great for me to be able to do that, but it was also so exhausting and mm -hmm. so draining because, you know, you know, you don't know what the outcome is. So when I finally heard the news, I mean, of course, I was really sad. Um, I was really heartbroken over it. Um, but I also knew that things happen for a reason. Yeah and um, they always do and even though like it stunk you know mm -hmm. um, at that time like it's helped me to grow so much mm -hmm. and it's, I think it's helped me prepare mm -hmm. for what's to come next mm -hmm. um, and actually um, right after I found out that I didn't get 
you know, the position, I also got a phone call to say that I want uh, that I got a grant, uh, which was a pretty hefty grant to yeah. start my own project that That's I conceptualized right. on my own, which is actually you know the Glamour Baby yeah. Diaries. So if it wasn't for that experience, if it wasn't for um, you know the the ability to learn mm -hmm. about myself and what I'm capable of, then I wouldn't have I think you know really been able to shape my own vision and take that next step exactly. That you need to take. And so speaking of the Glamour Baby Diaries, what is, I know it's a workshop for young women, can you yeah. let us in on the details with that one? Well, the Glamour Baby Diaries is um, a writing empowerment workshop that actually has an Asian American woman's history focus, okay. but of course in a fashion framework. Mm -hmm. And the mission of the program really, I mean, to, to put it very you know, succinctly, mm -hmm. was to groom the next generation of Michelle Obama, mm -hmm. you know, young women who are very much aware of their knowledge of self, mm -hmm. because knowledge of self is yeah. Uh, but really um, able to articulate their own opinions mm -hmm. um, and really talk about their history, where they come from, mm -hmm. and um, then be able to reflect, right? You know, so I come from this history. Mm -hmm. um, now, what do I stand for in the present? Mm -hmm. And how do I represent myself and my, and my community in a really positive light? I know that you're not only inspiring people in the Glamour Baby Diaries workshops, but you're also doing it through lit world which mm -hmm. is an organization that you've worked with and they have a, a girls literacy project that you yes. work with can you tell us more about that and yes what we should know yeah um so i work with an organization like you mentioned lit world mm -hmm. a global literacy organization and they have a project called the girls club for literacy program which okay. really aims to bring accessibility to education and literacy to young women in vulnerable communities mm -hmm. um, and i facilitate two programs um, here in New York, one in Brooklyn and one in Harlem, and the program is in over 17 locations throughout the country. Uh, and, and actually, oh, not wow. the country, I'm sorry, 17 and locations throughout the, the world. world. And I know that you're juggling that while also putting out a book that I think is supposed to be coming out yeah. soon, which is even even more on top of the, yeah. the work that you're, you're no doing. No wonder I'm so tired yeah. all the time. <laughs> So you have a book, so it's called Miss Universe, mm -hmm. um, which is fitting given all the, the global literacy work that you've been doing. And it's poems and writings, correct? Yes. And is it all new work? Is it stuff that you're pulling from um, the past as well? What's, what's the deal with the book? Yeah, well, the book um, contains poems that um, have been written since like 2002. And, you know, I was concerned a little bit of like, oh, these are old poems, mm -hmm. but I was like, well, I was writing th them as a young woman, mm -hmm. and these are poems for young women, mm -hmm. so why not keep that perspective and that voice that's authentically, mm -hmm. um, you know, a young woman going through some really hard things. Mm -hmm. um, and the mission for the book is to really just be an older sister that fits in your pocket. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, you like know, that. That, that other girls can, can, can look at, and my, my hope is, um, you know, that they would look at these words and recognize themselves in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all that I had to ask you for oh, this round, except there is one ritual that I okay. want to be starting all right. here, okay. which is, yeah, so this is I'm ready, I'm ready. the pressure's on, pressure's on, make it good. Um, I want to be able to close out our shows with an inspirational quote oh, okay. from, from our guests. Okay, like I thought it had to be a dance or something. No. <laughs> I was really scared about that. You can do it. You can do a little. No, 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 I'm good. I was doing the Diddy Bop earlier. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't working so well. Anyway, um, yeah, to close with an inspiration, a favorite quote of yours. So it doesn't have to be your quote. You don't have mm -hmm. to like come down with your, mm -hmm. you know, special words. They can be yours though, because you're an author, so. Um, but if you have a favorite quote from somebody that you use to empower you or inspire you um, yes. in your work. Um, All right. So, what well, luckily I'm ready for that because I, I definitely have a quote that I live by. Okay. Um, I think every, everyone should have a quote that they live by. And it is a quote by um, civil rights leader Dr. Howard Thurman. Okay. Also a theologist. Yes, yes. Um, Dr. Howard Love Thurman. A lot of his quotes. And actually, funny enough, this is the quote that got me through while I was doing the Alicia Keys mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. um, and it was um, Don't ask yourself what the world needs, mm -hmm. ask yourself what makes you come alive. Because what the world needs are people who have come alive. So that's a beautiful way to close us out. And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for being here. If Thank you me. all want to know more about Ruby's projects, you can visit her online at her website. www.rubyverdiano.com And she's also on Twitter at... Ruby Miss Universe, and that's MS Universe. Wonderful. And of course, you can follow us here, www.knowthis.tv and at KnowThisTV on Twitter. 
And I have a Twitter thing, too. They can put that up on the little screen um, if you want to follow me. And that's our show for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you didn't know, now you know. We'll see you next time.